Hello indie game fans, pure platformers have seen quite the resurgence in indie games with action platformers and metroidvanias to be covered later, so here are upcoming games of interest beginning with Through the Nightmares, one in which you play as the Sandman who has to make his way through nightmares in order to find and rescue the children, fighting off their phobias in the process. There are a whole bunch of spikes and saw blades and things that will kill you, along with plenty of chase sequences for added pressure and looks like a challenging one of these. I covered this game back in my summer showcase this year, since how does a Shadow of the Colossus-like game in which you climb gigantic creatures sound? Chasing the Unseen is exactly that with an interesting look, in which our hero is moving through surreal landscapes that just so happen to be filled with these creatures. From a flying octopus to a giant snake, with the world itself looking interesting, although I'm not quite sure what the larger goal of the game is. This video is brought to you by Oreo Wings of Hope, an interesting physics-based side-scrolling precision platformer in which you play as a ring, also known as the Oreo. Heaven has been invaded by demonic forces which have caused our two angelic protagonists to plummet from the skies, now having to find a way to return home by making their way through the challenging levels. The relatively minimalist design of the controllable player avatar is interesting since I haven't quite seen anything like this, with there of course being a bunch of different power-ups, tools, hazards and traps in every level. You are able to launch yourself to dizzying speeds but have to be able to control and master the physics, looking like quite the challenge, so add this unique indie game to your wishlist today. For variety, I've included some first-person platformers as well, the first of which is Kick Bastards, a game which has an interesting parkour system as well as a grappling hook in the form of a detachable foot. It is also set in hell, with the devil chasing you down in every level, so use your movement abilities to stay out of reach as you make your way through. There is a little bit of combat, if you can call it that, since you have to kick enemies to launch them into the abyss and certainly has a speed run focus, so I imagine fans of Neon White will be into this game. This next title has had my attention for quite a while since Laser, a cloth former, is one of the more interesting physics-based platformers with how strings, ropes and nets react to your character. It has a cyberpunk setting as well, in which our protagonist is a killer android but yet is facing off against rogue AI and mega corporations, and while it has a little bit more action, has interesting platforming as well. This has undergone considerable development since I last took a look at this, with this trailer being pretty slickly put together, so hopefully that means it's close to being done. Once upon a time, there was a happy place called Riverside. <laughs> and right there, there was a bear called Ruffy. A 3D platformer that has a Paper Mario-like art style is Ruffy and the Riverside, one that has a little bit more exploration and puzzle mechanics in which our protagonist Ruffy can swap textures on the in-world objects which will affect the world. It is a little meta in the sense that you could, for example, swap the leaf texture with the water texture of a waterfall, creating a climbable wall instead, so it seems to be cleverly designed with plenty of possibilities which I'm sure will hide secrets of its own. The flat 2D characters in a 3D world look is always interesting, with this looking to be a high potential 3D platformer that might rival the classics of the past, so certainly keep an eye on this one. This next title tends to go viral on social media since it has a remarkable art style, primarily because the gimmick is that all characters are actually embroidered in real life and then digitized into Scarlet Deer Inn, which certainly gives it a unique look, not to mention an almost animated cartoon-like quality to the game. It's an adventure platformer in which a regular mother of two ends up exploring a dark and dangerous dungeon, with the torch being critical to prevent certain death and sure looks intriguing. Thank you. 
this next game kind of went viral on YouTube with some very popular videos, with the one on funding being a nightmare really taking off with the developer having over 100,000 subscribers on his channel which is impressive, with Project Feline being an anime 3D parkour platformer that looks great. You are running, jumping and real grinding your way through the environment, certainly looking to be a Jet Set Radio-like as our heroine attempts to search for her missing family. The traversal looks pretty slick and the movement smooth, where games like this have to control well in order to be enjoyable. The anime character with 3D environmental objects is a good look as well, so go subscribe to his channel for all the latest updates. A game which is very much inspired by 2D Mario games is Kitsune Tales, only with more direct inspiration of Japanese folklore and mythology, in which there are a variety of suits that you can use with special abilities that changes up the gameplay. The N64 inspired 3D platformer is a growing category of games since we had a number of great ones like ConKids 64 seen in the introduction, in which another high potential title is The Big Catch. Yes, it's a 3D platformer and has collectibles, but the twist is that it's all and only about fishing, so you won't see magical stars or coins suspended in the air, but rather have to get to the right spot in order to catch some fish. It looks absolutely amazing and nails the look, with this being an interesting consequence of age and time, since we had the pixel art wave with developers that grew up with the NES and SNES, and now perhaps a wave with developers that grew up on the PlayStation and N64, so it's fun to think what games made by people who grew up with Xbox 360s would be like down the line. Here's a visually impressive title with a little bit of a puzzle platformer twist in Bionic B, one in which there is a teleportation mechanic that allows the character to swap places with environmental objects. It is certainly more fast-paced with platformer influence since projectiles will fly at you and attempt to kill you, but it is certainly a beauty to behold. I came across this title while browsing Steam, being quite tickled by the look of I am a caterpillar, one that is perhaps as self-explanatory as it gets, in which you play as a caterpillar making a way through the undergrowth. The platforming here looks interesting since the caterpillar seems to be able to climb most surfaces but also has an interesting jump that looks similar to what you will find in a worm scheme. You can also dash and spin so there is variety, so I'm certainly curious about this. My jaw kind of dropped when I came across this title, not in that oh my god this looks awesome way, but more of the oh my god what the hell is going on, since the disturbingly named Clown Meat is a precision platformer with horror overtones. The setup is that a monolithic clown from the depths of Jupiter has descended upon the world and you are attempting to cheer it up, encountering a cast of bizarre and perhaps disturbing characters along the way. It's weird and creepy, but has Meat Boy vibes with the splotches of blood when you come into contact with a surface, so how's this for something different? Here's another interesting and atypical game in Lawn's Lure, a first-person platformer in which you play as an android, having a, I quote, novel climb anything mechanic, which you can see with the dual climbing picks, tools which you have to use to get yourself into a better position to jump onto precarious perches and beams that seem far too narrow or risk falling into the abyss. You're also playing as an android which is egged on by a glitch in its visual system to go forth and explore this mega structure and looks pretty unique. Here's something I was not expecting since the developer of Peglin is also in part making Foul Damage, a precision frustration platformer in which you play as an egg. 
yes, the exact implication that you are thinking of is in this game, in that the egg can break if you fall from too great a height, and add to that the default jump being able to cause enough damage to destroy you and you sure have something interesting. In many ways, you will have to retrain your brain if you want to complete the game, and I love it when indie developers do something like this. Speaking of eggs, how about the title in which you play as a chicken? Paper Clay is the next game from the developer of Hop Legs, which is an interesting frustration platformer, with this game being a more classic looking 3D platformer instead. It has an interesting art style that looks like it's made out of clay, as well as the ability to turn knobs to literally rotate the level, which I'm assuming will lead to many clever secrets and just the joy of exploration. I could have sworn that the Gecko Gods would have been released by now, but apparently I don't think it is, in which this gorgeous 3D platformer in which you play as a gecko sure is intriguing. As a lizard, you do have the ability to stick to surfaces, so I think that the platforming is a little bit more forgiving, but the trailer does show off swinging physics, with another trailer even showing the gecko going in a little boat, with it definitely having a more puzzly vibe. One of the developers holding up the 3D platformer genre is Siaktro. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, since they make bite-sized 3D platformers, with the $1 Tori 3D being better than it has any right to be as compared to games at that price point, with Tori 2 being good and now Tori Saturn being of interest as well. You play as this little bird wearing sunglasses that just has to run through the level as quickly as possible, collecting stuff and avoiding enemies, with this adding new moves that gives the character more options such as a ground dash and it's certainly worth supporting. I don't know what you folks think about musicals in general, where I'm okay to neutral but I'm not crazy about them, but if you're a hardcore fan then Billy Bust Up will certainly be of interest. This is a 3D platformer that is fully integrated into the musical concept with songs to match the gameplay and looks very impressive, so I cannot wait to see how they pull it off. Well, that's not very nice. There's a million gruesome ways to die. There must be something we can try. To show your death will be Zach and to This next title also has an interesting pedigree coming to us from the makers of the 2D platformer Webbed in which you play as a spider which they somehow managed to make kind of cute, so the challenge now is I support a web spin-off. You play as the pillbug, exploring the Australian bush and fighting back against the fire ants in which the ability to curl up into a ball to roll or bounce off things looks fun. It is certainly not the most cozy looking character but it looks fairly impressive overall with some combat elements and even weird things like a grappling hook type mechanic and swinging for some reason. Here's a good looking pixel art 2D platformer named RQ Gem, which I can only describe as Celeste meets Indiana Jones, only in addition to the dash or double jump, you have a whip as well. It adds variety through these rare flowers, which have special properties when you whip them, such as regaining your double jump and so on, which might potentially make for interesting level design. I don't know why this game is going under the radar, but if you love precision platformers, do wishlist the game. Another example of an awesome looking 3D platformer in this new era is Penny's Big Breakaway, a title in which you play as a street performer that specialises in the yo-yo and when the emperor puts up a call for new performers, now's her chance to shine. However, a strange cosmic string was involved which turned her yo-yo into a living creature which chomped on the clothes of the emperor which embarrasses him, causing him to send the penguin army after our heroine which is where the story begins. She must now outrun the soldiers, unravel the mystery of the cosmic string and to finally clear her name. It looks so good with some interesting level designs as well with a whole bunch of things that you can do with the yo-yo so there's plenty of variety. More interestingly, this comprises of some of the people that made Sonic Mania, you know, the only good 2D Sonic game in god knows how many years, so it has the potential to be great.
I've been thoroughly fascinated with the concept of Shim ever since it was announced, since it's a 3D platformer in which you play as a frog-like shadow creature that can only move from shadow to shadow, having to make the jumps to get where you want to go, with elements of timing being critical. I think that the art style and colour palette chosen looks amazing and will bring you back to your childhood with the concept since you can only step in shadows so I expect this to be very pleasant indeed. Okay, this next title might be a platformer in quotes, since it's a physics-based title that is essentially a 3D corp coming to us from Bedded 40 and Friends, with the legendary game designer having made both corp and getting over it, with baby steps looking to be the next masterpiece of a disaster. We are trying to put one foot in front of the other while trying not to fall down, and while I don't think you can jump per se, there sure are teeny tiny platforms and surfaces that you need to walk on, which is in the spirit of this list. Now this next title has been making waves on social media since it's a 3D auto runner title which sees your character running through dangerous landscapes at very fast speeds in order to get to the portal which brings you to another world in which his broken worlds sure looks fast and frantic. It looks challenging and also satisfying to run and dodge all incoming hazards including lasers, lava, stone walls and spikes and interestingly comes to us from developer Landfall who made games like Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and is definitely a different style of game from them, being a Raise the Sun like if I can call it that. My most anticipated precision platformer is one in which you can control two characters in a duck and a turtle finding their way home in which Windswept is primarily inspired by Donkey Kong Country but also Mario, Yoshi's Island, Kirby and Celeste. While it has an adorable pixel art look, don't be fooled, this looks to be quite the challenge since you have to switch between the two characters on the go in real time since each have their own special abilities. But the developer does tease that if you're skilled enough, you can find ways to break the game and can complete the level with just one character. However, the story mode is supposed to be a more casual introduction to the game and genre and should be fairly completable, but then comes the Celeste influence since there are secrets and additional challenges, think B and C sides for example, so there's something for everyone with characters looking really cute with more upcoming pixel art in the games in this video. 